Why does that look so far in? Hello. <laughs> it looks like it's really zoomed in, but maybe I'm just sitting too close. Unemployment in Freeburg is lowest in history. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, citizen earnings have fallen 9% since New Year. Former City Hall employee emits official unemployment data far from reality. Oh. Alright then. <laughs> Today my daughter is opening an art exhibition in an elite gallery in a nearby city. Can I have the day off? I think that's a valid reason. Yeah, come tomorrow. My son was in a car accident. The doctors are fighting for his life now. I can't just manage work today. Can I have the day off? Yes. Okay, those those are two circumstances where I'm like, okay, you should, you'll probably have the day off. That's, that's perfectly fine with me. Uh, let's listen to some Beethoven, please. Uh, the Mafia, your share. Uh, take everything. Hi, female cops. Tomorrow is the deadline. Okay, we need at least half, right? So we've got one... Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hmm. There's also no females I can hire. I guess police officers. That sucks. Well, I'm probably gonna fail that. How much I can do? <laughs> The elderly Emma Weston. I thought it was Emma Watson. Called in a complaint about her neighbors. Her house is shaking from loud sounds of gnashing metal and roar of turbines, accompanied by some strange beeping na beeping noises. Through the window, she also saw people moving around. Gnashing metal and roar of turbines, accompanied by some strange beeping noises. I'm pretty sure this is just going to be like a fake. That's just a false. Um... It's not real, is what I'm trying to say. Like, it's not, it's not an actual incident. It's a false alarm. It's a false alarm, is what I'm trying to say. Patients at the local assignment rebelled against the nurses during breakfast. Three nurses have been wounded, while others remain locked in with their patients in the dining area. They threaten to kill one nurse every hour until they're released. That is a giant house, by the way. Look at that thing. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, take four people. I don't think we need SWAT or the body wagon. It's fine. That is crazy! That, that house was huge! Uh, disorderly conduct. Offender court officers unharmed. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. Reporters and onlookers have gathered around the building. The asylum patients are watching the growing crowd from the windows of the third floor. Call in a negotiator, I think. I think we need to call in a negotiator. Because if we try and get an entrance to the back door, they could just like cut all the nurses and they're all dead. Stole the front door is probably a dumb idea too. Call in, call in a negotiator. Offender court, officers unharmed. Civilians unharmed. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Close. Get out of here. A frightened woman phoned in reporting that two men dressed in armor were running through the streets shouting, Beware our stings. They were chasing passers by it and swinging their blades at them. We've not yet done anyone harm, but the sword seemed dangerous enough. Yeah, okay. That's fair. An old friend is visiting Mr. Sand and they're planning on going horseback riding. But the owner of the country club just called. He wasn't making much sense, but it sounded like some punks are beating Mr. Sand's horses to death. Like, why? Just why? Just why? What did those horses do? They're just going to be ridden. That's it. Oh, reckless endangerment. Hey, offender court officers unharmed. That's civilians unharmed. That's what I'm talking about. Clemuria have reports that suspicious people are constantly going in and out of the apartment next door. They're carrying big bags, making lots of noise, screaming, and his three sons can't concentrate on their homework. Mr. Yuryev urges, someone's, not got, someone's got to show these bandits who's boss. Uh, I mean, it says five people. Making lots of noise, screaming. Screaming's like, a big thing. If you're screaming, and you're already in an apartment, I think something's wrong. Something's up. Because people don't just scream for no reason. Ah, uh, noise complaint reports. Fender court officers in harm. Nice. And found an automatic weapon. Let's sell that weapon. Okay. A whole mob of Vargas people attacked a truck belonging to one of our companies. This truck is carrying some important cargo, the kind only Mr. Sand and his deputies know about. The driver tried to call us, but we lost the connection. He may already be dead. You've got to stop these assholes before they make off with the goods. 
Uh, I need three people, but I only have two available, so I'll just wait until one of these guys comes back. And then we can send everyone all at once. Destruction of property report. With two new frames. Okay, uh, we'll open the investigation now. Okay. Okay, so, he drives in. Um, straight through the cause. He drove through. Uh, he did raise his hand to Holy Father Nunez, which means he definitely kicked this dude. The crime scene found a black helmet with a white spot on top. I don't think we have all of the information. So let's just close that for now. Okay, let's send in Robbins, Samadhi, and Gay. Gay? Guy. Gay. Uh, end, uh, end the day. I thought there's going to be like a, a prompt or something, you know? How do they keep gaining chips? I keep, like, stopping them in their tracks, you know? Okay, let's just end the day. Former Mafia member bemoans- bemoans. What a good word. Bemoans is such a good word. City Hall Corruption. Uh, chief Physician at St. John's Hospital, accused of slander. Mayor declined services. Mayor declined services of spokesman. I speak for myself. Mayor declined services. Shouldn't that be like a plural? Mayor declines services of spokesman. I'm too tired. I can hardly walk straight. Can I go home? Honestly, yes, you can go home because I'm not going to use you anyway. Yes, go home. But come tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. That'll teach him. Stupid little five pointer. <laughs> okay, hire female cops. Yeah, not really much I can do about that. Mafia, your share. Take everything. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Uh, two homeless men made their way into the local bakery under the cover of darkness, where they ate their fill and bedded down for the night. In the morning, the bakery owner, Gregory Martinez, along with the cashier, Anna Lucas, went inside and discovered the damage. The homeless men, armed with knives, were unhappy to be disturbed and attacked their victims. The shopkeeper managed to escape, but the cashier remained inside with the homeless men, who were seen tearing off her clothes. Oof. Okay. I don't think we need five people, but I'm gonna send them anyway. Wow. After the incident with the horses, we secretly transferred Mr. Sane's guest to a local hotel and set up a guard outside his door. Suddenly we're hearing screams coming from his room and there's water flowing from the bathroom. We'll break down the door, but a police presence wouldn't hurt. Okay, like, I'm kind of on the fence with helping out Mr. Sane so often. But again, these are crimes that are being committed. Like, that is a physical knife. So I... I feel like I should help out. I'm the police, after all. Okay, rape report. Defender court, officers unharmed. Civilians unharmed. Nice. I feel like a real police chief... I don't know if I'm in it. But I feel like a real police chief officer would actually need to do a lot more paperwork than what I'm doing. Two truckers fell to blows over a parking space in the lot near the diner. The cook tried to separate them, but was struck by a wild punch and is now lying on the ground motionless. Oof. Okay. I'm gonna keep sending out these, like, weak guys, just so we can, like, get their strength up. Because there's no point sending out a 620, because he doesn't need the points. Oh! Oh, come on, I don't have any... <sighs> Hold on, investigations. Detectives. Take her off the case. Can I put her on now? Yes, okay. Proceed. Fire report! Defender court, officers unharmed. Okay, nice. So yeah, I just want to get like the smaller people, like the people who don't have as much points, I guess. So the people who don't have enough points, I'm going to try and send them out more so they can get more points. Does that make sense? <laughs> uh, theft investigation has started. There's literally no reason to read this until we have anything. Jack, my entire staff at the donut shop came down with the flu and I haven't been able to find anyone else to help out. Could you please send me a couple of your men? I'm sure they wouldn't mind frying up some donuts. It's easy, I'll show them everything they need to know. My shop barely makes ends meet, so I can't afford even one day a day to downtime. Okay, fine. I'll send out, uh, Kochi and Austin. Because I can't send out any- wait. 
close. Can I wait until these guys come back? Okay. Uh, so I'll send out Taylor, because he's he's actually supposed to be working shift A. That's why it's there. So he'll just do that and have an easy day. And then I'll probably send out... Uh, Austin, I guess. 170 is pretty good. I mean, all you're doing is frying donuts. It's not that hard. Plus, she's going to give me some money. She's going to give me some chichinga, you know? The Sands need... Oh, Amy Marvin report. I'm telling you, Chief, standing over that fryer is hellish work. I'd rather dodge bullets than the spray from that boiling oil. But at least Miss Marvin promises she'll keep us in donuts. She'll keep us in donuts through the rest of the year. But at least Miss Marvin promises she'll keep us in donuts through the rest of the year. She'll keep us in donuts. Sure, man. What? We need backup. Some punks tried to crash one of our poker games, and we aren't allowed to- we aren't about to let them walk away with the money. So now we've got ourselves a standoff. A couple of police officers- sorry, a couple of officers on the scene would change the situation in our favor. Sure would. Uh, Kochi and Purdy. Go. The Last Picture Show Theater. During a special viewing of the thriller Law Abiding Max 3, a theater employee discovered one of the members of the audience had removed his pants. The man noticed the employee was watching him and responded with a threat he would cut the throats of everyone in the theater. What? Are there really people like this in the world? Uh, I'll bring in Taylor and then this girl. The movie theater isn't too crowded and the film is in full swing. Throw a heavy object at the offender. <laughs> That's so good! Uh, turn on the lights and take aim. No, that's probably not a good idea. And then carefully approach the man. I think we'll carefully approach him. <laughs> Chuck a brick at him. <laughs> that's so good. Ah, vandalism in the suburbs. A man who wished to remain anonymous reported that a group of teenagers had once again made fun of his name by writing insulting rhymes on the six foot wide on his six foot wide garage. The man is enraged and threatened that next time he'll use a weapon to defend his honor. It's just words, man. Uh, yeah, sure, take... 345 and 130 should be enough. Just, just go. Uh, theft report. Ah, theft report. We've got three new frames. Okay, let's look at this theft report in a sec. Okay, uh... Wait, hold on. Yeah, okay, so the bricks in... I don't even know anymore, man. Okay, I don't think we have enough. So, theft report. We've got three new frames. Okay. Again, still not enough to do anything with. Vandalism report. Offender caught, officers unharmed. We have so many people in the lockup at our police station. It's just it's crazy. It's like, I think we're arresting like every second person in this city. Alright, let's end the day. Ooh, 12 and 9. That's pretty good. You're uh, kind of having like a tiny little bit of a lead, which is always good. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe. Oh, sorry, sorry, that just came out of nowhere. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Peace.